Hello, this is Anti-Darwin, and today I have a very good replay with me. It has uh, above uh, just uh, received critical acclaim on Red3.org, and uh, uh, I have just uh, uh, noticed that a lot of controversy is, uh, being, uh, uh, is being followed up by this replay, and uh, one of the reasons is that uh, people uh, who have... Uh, watch this replay have suggested that it's a very short game and uh, also they are saying some aliens have come to the website and have whooped this replay and have uh, and have not liked this replay and somehow it has been bombed as a flop by some uh, expert players and uh, generally we have two experienced players today spellbinder ak fighting for fun versus profloff ak purr these days he's uh, playing a lot with purr and uh, talking about profloff uh, um i have uh, uh, got an experience with him uh, and uh, he has uh, played a conquer cup in front of me and uh, luckily for me i was participating in that conquer cup and uh, and he went on to win that Conquer Cup, and uh, he is a very good uh, known Empire player, special player. But also uh, during the last year or so, he has been playing random a lot lately, and uh, he has uh, very good with Soviets. Uh, naturally, as all Empire pro players are naturally good with Soviets, but also he is very good. Uh, as allies and he has been playing and and I've seen matches of him beating Yui Yui and uh, also uh, him beating R.S. Simper aka Jeromo and also he's uh, always accompanied by expert pro players like Windy's, Goldeneye and uh, Wolf the Wolf also Lictoraz and some other good uh, known players and forgot to mention uh, C9Q9MD so this he's not a, a mug with uh, playing allies and uh, let's find out what he does and what uh, Spellbinder does in this game Spellbinder on the right hand side read allies uh, and versus Cyan allies on the left hand side Profloff Spellbinder uh, it plays usually with this red color he likes red color and uh, this map is all about the middle ridge and one of the reason I am talking about this because I've got some bitter experience on this map versus pro players I usually uh, am not good at uh, managing and uh, uh, not good at managing this this area and that's why I'm quite impatient because uh, because of my impatience and uh, bad decision making, I usually lose at this match uh, map up because map because it's quite boring for me. But still, a lot of uh, acclaimed uh, and good uh, professional uh, players they are always talking about it uh, that it's one of the most balanced map. Both players, as you can see, have uh, made a dog and an engineer a trademark. Uh, you can. Uh, uh, you can see uh, from many uh, pro allies players of the past one of them is Zoker he used to make a dog first and then engineer as well now uh, you can see uh, on the mini map both players going for that third refinery while spamming those uh, PKs and uh, Spellbinder with his red dog he has clamping uh, the space for third refinery in C and uh, Delicately negotiated by uh, Profloff, and uh, similarly tactics used by Profloff to disengage the macro capabilities of uh, Spellbinder. Spellbinder managing to uh, make a turret and uh, uh, trying to deal with that dog, and both players on three refineries. What you see here is uh, another mind game played by these pro players. Profloff, one of them, he is uh, going deliberately up the hill with those PKs, trying to send a subliminal message to Prof, uh, Spellbinder. 
so that he's the boss and uh, so that he can uh, somehow manipulate him and these are mind games played by both players uh, spellbinder also has uh, has made a target uh, from his boot camp and he's uh, not shying away from the fight and uh, both uh, players have uh, made opted for a dock score and uh, obviously because uh, Profloff has made three power plants now, four structures, and uh, Spellbinder has uh, uh, two structures, excluding the dock score. And uh, I'm so sorry, I'm saying dock score is the seaport. So used to these uh, 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 doing cats of empire, it's, it's a very dominant faction, and uh, its evolution is just a very uh, dynamic faction empire. And now you see uh, a Riptide from uh, Spellbinder early on, and he's attacking with a uh, five javelin packet uh, uh, in a Riptide going towards uh, refinery of Profloff. Profloff has attacked uh, Spellbinder, and uh, at the same time, you can see uh, multitasking for Profloff. He's gone for the sea base with three dolphins, and here we see. Uh, Spellbinder going for that uh, ore collector, and uh, he has uh, he's uh, managed to get rid of those five javelin soldier soldiers by crushing them all. This was bad luck for Spellbinder in a way, but good uh, good uh, micro from uh, um, Profloff by killing all of those units and crushing them and squishing them. I said bad luck because. Uh, the, it was a bug and he they couldn't target that uh, ore collector and they went after him inside so uh, Profloff wisely used and disengaged yeah, those uh, uh, those javelin soldiers and this could have been a very costly exchange for uh, Profloff and now it's uh, uh, Spellbinder has went for an eight field and uh, he has went for an air field and uh, uh, similarly, both players on three refineries uh, acting up, uh, also profitable with an airfield. So, harassment from uh, Spellbinder, he's just taking care of an old collector, and uh, he has uh, just uh, got rid of an old collector, and the dolphins have already taken care of a uh, sea air base of Spellbinder. He's taken the refinery and uh, the power plant uh, situated in the sea and they're coming back to destroy this uh, uh, this riptide uh, uh, spellbinder knows that he's a uh, low on economy and he's uh, just made a packet of uh, airfield units he's got a second airfield and he's bombarding uh, air uh, air and uh, this is a very intense matchup up till now but I would say the advantage goes to uh, Spraflov economically and uh, in fact he's in front and technologically as well uh, he's got his entire two while uh, Spellbinder is on tire one but he's got an uh, extra airfield and uh, just uh, exchange is uh, made uh, Spellbinder has met a cryo get in there is collector and he's gonna take it out very easily in these uh, very this is uh, trying to uh, the Profloff is still with a single airfield and he's opted for a dock boot camp uh, is going uh, and the packet of uh, cigarettes is complete uh, the eight cigarettes in this packet, uh, and uh, Spellbinder is uh, going up the hill once again with his MCV, and uh, he and uh, he is back in economy, uh, and he's uh, spamming uh, uh, spamming PK. Uh, uh, once he's just sniped uh, two javelin soldiers, and he's taken out. An airfield, so the uh, air advantage has worked for Spellbinder and his Twicon uh, refinery. 
and he's taken one refinery and uh, Spellbinder is now gonna take out this observation post uh, and let's see what happens uh, he's spamming PK's uh, Profloff is spamming and uh, Spellbinder is trying to uh, snipe uh, some of them because he knows there are too many PK's and the composition for Spellbinder is uh, making a lot of javelin soldiers and uh, here's the second boot camp from Spellbinder what's going on he's just unpacked his MCV it's these are never seen tactics before oh my god he's going for those PKs and you jar me behind him man is just what will happen? Where is the cryocopter, Prof Love? Where is your cryocopter? It's just just uh, too much infantry, and this is, I think, the finishing move. Oh my god, this is the finishing move for the match. And uh, I think uh, that this game is uh, this uh, game is sort of over. Uh, maybe uh, Profloff will run to the sea. What's Profloff doing? Oh my God! What the hell? Profloff, you he's going to squish those units. What are you doing, Prof? He's just lost his MCV, and uh, this game is this game is uh, over. It's over. Spellbinder has won it. And uh, he's just uh, finished to prop off. It's uh, I don't know how this happened. It's uh, it happened so quickly, and the finishing move. Uh, I I thought this game is gonna go for a very long time, uh, but uh, it didn't. And somehow this uh, finishing move uh, from Spellbinder was very lethal, and in the end uh, it paved uh, rich dividends for. Uh, Spellbinder. This was a very entertaining game uh, from uh, uh, Spellbinder versus Profloff. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be signing off.